Hello again. Um, this time I'd like to talk about shimmer powders or pigment powders. Um, I just saw these online and I thought, oh, let's try them. They're called Nouveau Shimmer Powder. I just bought a few colours. I thought I'd try them out. The thing I fancied about the idea of these is the fact that they've got that bit of mica in them, which gives them the shimmer. But they're, they were about $3.99 a, a throw. And I think that's quite a lot of money, really. So I thought, well, is there anything else I could do? These two cards I made using these. Um, this, this one, I found this little piece of embossed card in my scrap drawer. I think I must have embossed it with the stencil. I don't know where it came from. I've got no idea. But it's difficult to see, I imagine, on camera. But there are shells and things like that embossed into the surface. And to do this one, I just sprayed the card, tapped on a couple of bits of um, this powder and watched the reaction. Um, somebody asked me if um, it rubbed off afterwards. And as long as the powder has been dissolved or has merged with the water, it doesn't come off. So that was that one. I'll put these out of the way because this powder goes everywhere. This one, um, you can see I cut from these bits, I cut from here. And to do this one, um, I used a stencil. Often, I've, I've seen cards online and you see bits of colour like this. And if you want to um, get that watercolour effect, you can do it with a brush. But I found, I, I don't know, it was either all or nothing really. And if you use a stencil, there are random bits of colour, which I personally find particularly attractive. I made this one this morning. Um, these um, dies are Charlie and Paulson and just a little square. So that's that one. So what I'm going to do is do this um, technique this morning, but I'm going to try it not only with um, the shimmer powders, but see if I can get the same effect from brushos. I know a lot of people have had brushos and they go to the back of the cupboard and get forgotten about. And for a long time, I I just couldn't get on with them because I didn't realise how intense the colour is and how little of the powder you actually need. The same goes for these, in fact. So let's get this out of the way and we'll oops, Daisy, start off. So to start with, what I've done is this. Got a piece of, this is a piece of scrap card. I don't know what kind it is. It's just a bit out of the scrap drawer. And I have taped this stencil to the card down one side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get two for one here because by putting it on one side of this piece of card, I'm going to get the stencil side effect under there. But in doing it, I'm going to get a lot of colour on the stencil itself. So I'm going to flip it over and then take a print from the front of the stencil. So I'll get like a positive and negative. That's the idea. Whether it happens, it's another kettle of fish, but we will see. So let's first of all, just start off. I'm going to give this a spray. It's not watercolour paper, it's just card. I don't know what it is really. I'm just gonna give it a spray to start with. And then I'm going to, let's try Catherine Whale, this is called. And it's got a fine, fine tip on the top and you just tap a little. Okay. And with that, I think I might put a little bit of Lunar Rocket. Isn't that fabulous? Lunar Rocket, would you believe it? Oops. Oh, there's lots come out. Came out the lid. Add a bit more. Okay, 
I think I'm going to leave it at that. Now you can see at the minute there's lots of bits of powder that's not dissolved. It's just sitting there in a heap. So I'm going to spritz again to make sure that that um, powder is in liquid form when it mixes with the water. So here we go. Don't want to drown it. That's fine. So let's just lift this up and have a look. There's an interesting bit there. Turn it over to the other side, a bit of paper towel. Go. There's a bit of more than I really want here. Let's soak a bit of this up. Don't want to lose the shape of it, but I don't want all that water. Another bit. There we go. So let's lift this up and have a look at that side. Do you see? So we get a negative and a positive. I'm just going to take this off so it doesn't ruin. Put that somewhere to dry off. Put this somewhere to dry off. And when these are, look at the interesting colours there. They'll be useful for all sorts of either using as a background or for die cutting. Let's try down there. Let's try another one. Here we've got, I don't know, don't know who's, don't know what make this one is, but it's just a bunch of flowers. So let's have um, a spritz first. There we go. Now, a few leaves. Can't see where I'm going, really. So it's, when these things do mix with water, the most incredible mix of colours appear. You wouldn't believe there were so many colours in green. And with that, well, let's use the purple. I haven't used the purple. These are the colours of my rival school when I was at grammar school donkey years ago. My school colours were brown and cream would you believe brown hills high school for girls but the um the opposition school was called thistly huff and their colours were the colours of a thistle purple and green so this reminds me of the the opposition okay as you can see there's still bits of powder there that's not dissolved so i'm going to give a drop more water I want to drown it. Again, I'm going to do the business with... Uh... Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Look at that one. Let's get a clean bit of paper towel. That looks pretty on the underside of that one. What that's turned out like. Let's have a look. Oh, that's interesting. Let's take this off. Put that to dry. Wow, that's interesting, isn't it? Put that out of the way. Ooh, that went this way. Now, I'm just going to try just one with um, just the colours. Um, a, a total background, no stenciling or anything like that. So I'm going to start off again by wetting my piece of card. And what haven't we used? Haven't we used the blue? Let's try some blue. Ooh, again, it's coming out the lid. Look at it move. Can you see that? Just look at the movement there. Astonishing. Let's come a bit closer. You see? It's 
fab, isn't it? It's come down again. Okay. Um, let's put some black with this one. The black has got all sorts of colours that you wouldn't believe. All sorts of colours. There we go. But that is lovely, isn't it? Just look. It's a bit not quite down here. There we go. I could watch it for ages. Lovely. I'm just going to mop up a bit from the edges. Don't it dripping everywhere when I take it off my desk. There we go. Okay. Right. There we go. There's one more. Now, I'm going to see if I can get a similar effect, but this time using brushos. Now, I have got many more colours of brushos. I've got a box of 24 here. And I've also got some just plain, well, the Snow White mica powder, which I thought I could add to the brushos to give that bit of um, shimmer that these powders have built in. So, obviously I've got more interest, well, it, colours that I haven't got there. So I think I'll try um, an orange. I haven't got orange. And what else shall I try? Dark brown. Let's try dark brown. And let me have, what's that one? That's light brown. I don't want a yellow. Where's the yellow? Yellow, here's the yellow. Okay. Now, these were, when I first got these, I made the mistake of taking the tops off um, and trying to get a small amount of powder out. Well, it was impossible, couldn't do it. And then somebody said to me, just pierce a hole in the top of the pot which I did, and since then it's been much more successful. So here we go, let's try, let's try this one. This is one of my very favorite stencils. Right, orange. There's even some blue come out of that, it's amazing. And yellow. Fine. And dark brown. Let's try that. And a bit more water it isn't quite oh no just a minute before i do that this is what i had problem with adding the mica powder and um i used one of these things and it was just there was too much of a glob came down so i thought what can i do and i had the bright idea of using a little sieve so i put a little bit into my sieve and then just tapped it on top of the other powder. I use this sieve actually for getting all the junk out of my um, embossing powder. When I do lots of uh, clear embossing or whatever, I've got a, a tub of clear embossing powder. There we go, and I put that back into the pot. Right, another, now we need another little spritz and we'll see how this one's gone. So I've got the colours that for my emboss of my brushos, but with a little added mica. Now I'm going to try this, lift 
and over. Now that is too wet, so I'm going to actually blot that one. And again. There we go. Really quite nice. Rather like that. Okie dokie. Now the other side. I'll use the same bit of the paper towel. There we go. Different sort of colours have come through. Let's take this piece off. There we go. They're really interesting, but they have got that hint of shimmer because I've used a little bit of that. Um, Perfect Pearls is a similar sort of thing. I've got a whole stack of little um, tubs of different coloured mica powders here. A oh, whole bunch of things which I haven't used for donkey's years, but you could use any of these colours. And I think to add it by putting it through a sieve um, does give it a little bit of, um, just a little bit of, well, it spreads it out a bit more. So I'm just going to do one more, just a plain one, but this time using the brushos and the mica without any stencil just to see what happens here. So starting off, just a piece of scrap card out of my scrap drawer. Don't know what it was left over from. Some of it I got printed by mistake onto card instead of paper. So let's try some different colours this time. Let's try... What haven't I got there? Um, ultramarine. Let's try that. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, isn't that fabulous? Look at the colours. It's fabulous. Um, with a bit of Prussian blue. Let's try that one. Drop more water. Just watch it react, it's fabulous. I'll put a little bit of um, mica on the top. Got more water. Lovely. There we go. Now, just a word of warning. Brusho powder, I don't know if, you've, if you haven't used them already. It kind of gets up your nose. It gets everywhere. So if you do have any problems with breathing or whatever like that, I would be inclined to wear a mask. Everybody's got a mask these days. I'd be inclined to wear a mask so that... Um, you don't get it all up your nose, and goodness knows what, because it does actually go everywhere. Look at that. Whoa, that's beautiful, isn't it? So there you go. This is shimmer powders, making your own shimmer powders with uh, brushos and a bit of mica. Um, and you can either die cut that, use it as a background. I can see butterflies' wings. I can see all sorts of possibilities. So there you go. Just have a go. Thanks for watching.